the fourth Battle of the Diamond Hills. I'm here with special guest star, Chef Robert Irvine. You better be ready. The five boroughs better bring it. Taste, flavor, texture, or else. This year, Battle of the Diamond Halls is the five boroughs. Every kitchen got to pick a borough, and they're gonna make a theme food for that borough. We're the student judges here for today. Today, we're super excited to try food from all the different dining halls. Let's try some food. <laughs> Fat oh, House yeah. has got the dog. Yeah. yeah. JJ's fam eating. JJ's right now, but JoJo is really good. I'm Team Ferris, 100% every day of the week. John Jay is taking it home. John Jay's getting it. Home. I love Ferris. Love Faculty Ferris. House. Chef Mike too, this ice cream is phenomenal. Welcome back to Chef Robert Irvine. How's everybody doing? So what I'm looking for, Chef, is just like I would feed in a restaurant. Great concept, great execution, amazing flavors, textures, and colors that represent the borough they are representing. Chef, we're gonna thrill you to death, I promise you that. We have the best culinary team on any campus in this country. I love that. All right, let's get this on, let's go, let's go. We got a five spice filet mignon bao bun and a five spice mushroom uh, bao bun as well with a anoiki mushroom palate cleanser that's sitting on top of a sesame leaf. I love the bao bun idea. The flavor of the beef is outstanding. I mean, like, that's a 10. The beef is cooked perfectly. And having that good crunch compared to the softness of the bao bun was really nice. We wanted to come up with a name that would represent Queens as a borough, Mexican, Korean, Chinese, and so we tried to reflect that in our dish as a, a fusion item. I overall love this dish. Birria taco with the consomme is just phenomenal. The, con the concept, I would put this in my restaurant tomorrow. <laughs> Believe me, the, the consomme or the, the sauce, spectacular. Yeah! Our concept was to fuse a West Indian dish with a Latin dish, so we had butter chicken empanada. Three words, I love it. I, yeah, right? Balancing South Asian flavors with South American flavors. Amazing idea. That chimichurri was off the chain good. On a scale of 1 to 10, that's a 9 for me. It's really good. We're very proud of Chef Don on campus. Pulling, like I said, 480 pounds of fresh mozzarella on premise. We cut the meat that morning to make the sandwiches that day. As fresh as can be. Look, this is a classic sandwich, right? a buffalo chicken sandwich but what you did really well you went to all the trouble of making mozzarella which was beautiful by the way but it's too hot we wanted an asian theme which is a bibimbap and having a caribbean flavor to it which is where i am from and i'm proud of that so this dish is an 11 out of a 10 for me the meat is so flavorful so tender the chicken the beef and the shrimp i mean I thought the vegan option was fantastic. It's Ferris Food Comics! So the moment of truth. Uh, first of all, you're all winners. Period. Every one of you. Runner-up was JJ Pham. Yes? Yeah? Yeah? Good job, JJ. Be proud of yourselves. Absolutely. And the judge's choice by a runaway, and I'm not kidding, judges, am I? Pack House Rocks. This is our fourth annual Battle of the Dining Hall Food Fight winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ferris Booth. Congratulations to all our teams. Thank you. We love you so much. Thank